Oh. Hi, oh gosh, what an angle. Hi, my name's Johnny and today I am changing some pickups. So I'm doing another mod to my Squire Classic Vibe P bass. Um, I'm going to switch out the Fender original pickups, which I'd already switched out for the standard Squire pickups. I'm changing it out for some, where's the box gone? I've lost the box, I found the box, for some Geezer Butler EMGs. Now, I'm not very good at soldering, and so I was so pleased after hearing these online and really liking them, seeing that they are completely solderless. Now there's a really useful video that EMG have made to guide you through, but I'm not gonna watch that. I'm just gonna jump in based on the instructions and uh, you know, and do it step by step via that and let's see how hard or easy it is. Now, like I said, I'm not very good at doing mods myself, especially when it comes to electronics. That's probably my weakest part when it comes to bass just below playing the damn thing. Um, so bear with me, leave a comment down below if there's anything else I should be checking out in terms of pickups or mo easy mods that I could maybe do that you want to see me do. Um, and hit like and subscribe to stay tuned for the full tone demo of these pickups as well as a comparison between the old Fender ones that I had in there. So yeah, let's jump into it. Hi. pickups out let's have a look at what's inside the geezers first off really nice packaging oh, oh, there she blows look how sleek they look really cool with the magnet pole pieces not poking out you know hardly at all so in here we get all of our cables um our, oh, let's take the foam out shall we our two individual pickups. They're really neat. Look at that. And our oh, okay, our input jack and our pots as well. So let's have a look and see how we put this together. So we've got an output cable. We've got four lots of four connect cables. And then we've also got our P pickup cable. Now, as I said, this is all solderless, so you can see here this little doohickey uh, kind of nicely slots in onto your pickups and connects it all together. So it should be a fairly simple process. We start off with our pickup, and this is for the D and G, so the kind of lower pickup with the logo on it. So with that, oh my trouble, my camera's having trouble. You simply just slot this cable here, which is the pickup cable into the back just like so now i would be really careful slowly slide these on lovely it's so easy to do just slide it on in there so then with the other side you imagine the pickups are going to be like this so if you flip them over and then with the other one this shorter black one i'll do the same and see this one's got two and slide this one onto there sorry it keeps going out of focus it's my my phone so then it just looks like that. Then this cable will then go to your master volume. So from here we've got our master we've got our master volume and you can see that whoop, we'll get it around the right way that it says volume on there and the other one says tone. So you put this one from the pickup into the bottom one there and you see this has got five pins on it so there's enough room for another one of these and then that single one as well which is going to be the ground wire. So next up we'll put in one of the connect cables which is going to go over to the tone pot. And then that will go to the output using another one of these cables. So let's bung that one in for now. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, lovely. And that, this one will then go to the output, so you're going volume, tone, output, and then from the volume as well, we want to go with this one black wire, which goes to our ground. And the ground, and the minute, you see here my, all my old gubbings, the ground is going to the bridge. So there should be a little hole in the body, which takes the cable and touches with the bridge. And you can see here that this has got an exposed end. So well, it's not gonna focus on that, is it? But it's got an exposed end, and then that will touch the bridge and ground the entire thing to hopefully eliminate some buzzing or any kind of buzzing that you're going to get okay so um 
So that needs to go on the master volume. So our master volume is this one here. This is a little single piece, so I would be really careful with this bit. And just slot that in without bending that wire. Awesome. So it looks like it's all kind of hooked up. So I've just pop the pickups in for now so it's a bit easier for me to visualize and i've taken off the bridge because you can see here the little bit of wire here which is the wire coming out of here which is our ground wire so see that way so to get rid of that i need to take off the bridge unbend that and then pull give that a pull and it should come on out oh hey just like that and you can see that that exposed wire looks just like our one here which is where that's going to go so I just double checked uh, EMG's really, really helpful video and yeah, I realised that, oh wait, hang on, Th that's for if you've got a PJ configuration, whoops, so we'll get rid of that and we need to use this one to connect to our output jack. So arrows facing up, slide this bad boy onto the tone, Whoa, nice. Then using these ones, we need to connect it to our output jack. Now, I said the white one facing away, so we're going to do the black one here and this just slides on super easy like i said no soldering needed whatsoever Very nice slide that one on as well careful with your fingers i suppose there might be some sharp bits oh, lovely awesome that's fully on so that looks like that so another thing i've realized i probably should have uh put this in the pit guard before doing all this so the other thing is this ground wire here i did just pull my ground wire out from the bridge oh, which is this one so i'm going to slide that one back in and you, i've put it in the end of this one here that they provided now what this does is combine the two cables so then i'll put this cable in here click this together and this should essentially extend this cable for me so if i pop this back into the bridge oh god this is going to be fiddly talk amongst yourselves pop this one back in if i can oh this might be an issue Oh no. There we go. Go on, baby. Up you go. Make daddy proud. Uh, uh, it's working. It's working. Can you see the head yet? I can see the head. Ah, thought we were in for trouble then. So actually, we didn't need to take the bridge off at all. So let's go. <laughs> I am a big fan of how much of a mess I'm making of this job. But you know, uh, I'm not very good at this stuff. And the only way to learn is by doing it. So please, please hold off your hate comments and tell me to take this to Luthier because I know that should be done. But... I don't want to spend the money and if you can do it yourself and teach yourself then why not that's how i've approached bass in general to be honest uh just teaching my that's why i'm so bad see it's just teaching myself all of the tricks of the trade okay so now that the bridge is reattached and our ground wire is firmly in place we can go ahead and oh, slide the cable in there nice and tight in there and then attach it to our tone uh no not our tone our master volume pot uh, so you can kind of see it's kind of starting to take shape so if we just slide it in there right, and then it says we need to just push this down with some pliers so i've got some right here this just connects the two cables together Awesome. Now, before I go ahead and screw this all together, I think we'll do a quick um, test just to make sure that everything is working. So, I've got my cable here. Put that in, feels nice. And then, <laughs> I just went to play a string. What am I doing? 
We are. Oh yeah, I can see I am getting a signal through my interface by doing that. So that's great news. One thing that's great about these actually is that you're not really going to get any of that sound from hitting the pole pieces because they're sunken into the uh, uh, the casing here. By the time it's hit the fretboard, you're not touching the touching the pieces. Now you will touch them, but I can touch them. But it's going to be less less of that noise, I think, which is you know which I think is great. So let's get the rest of the strings on, the knobs on, the rest of the screws. Great, really happy. So in doing this, I've just realised that. My Squire knobs, they don't fit. So I'm going to have to get some new knobs. Oh no. <laughs> Bugger. Oh well, that's only a couple of pounds. I might be able to get some even cooler knobs. <laughs> there we have it, the installation of these EMGs. I still might need to do some adjustments, lower them a little bit, still quite close to the strings. Um, so I might take them down a little bit more uh, and maybe angle them a little bit just so we can uh, get the best feel and sound out of them and well, I play quite aggressively so uh, yeah get that sorted put these things in get some new knobs and yeah hang about hit like and subscribe to go and check out the full review and comparison of these EMGs compared to the uh, Fender originals that we had in there before so yeah thanks so much for watching I'll see you next time